This is my WWE Royal Rumble 2014. Wow, this is crazy. 2014. I've been making Royal Rumble predictions videos since 2011. I made one 2011, one the real one 2012 when uh, Sheamus won, 2013 when Cena won. Now we're in 2014 and we're doing a preview right here for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship match. Randy Orton defending his title for the very first time. The first time that the WWE World Heavyweight Championship will actually be defended ever and it will be at the Royal Rumble 2004 event on pay-per-view this Sunday night. Um, Randy Orton and John Cena. I read a stat, I believe uh, John Cena and Randy Orton since joining WWE have, has wrestled 58 matches starting from 2002 working your way up to 2013 but when you think about it they only had three really major programs they had the one in 07 the first really encounter of them of the two for the WWE Championship where they had a match at SummerSlam which led to a match at Unforgiven and they were supposed to have one more match at No Mercy which people thought Randy Orton was going to win which I guess it was the case because uh, Cena tore his tricep, he lost, uh, he dropped the belt, well he got stripped of the belt, and then uh, Orton got the title, but then when Cena won the Rumble, came back, he, Orton still defended the title, so he was still the champion then. Then we go to 2009, where they had a feud at SummerSlam, which led all the way up to a Cell, uh, I Quit match, a Hell in a Cell match, and then Iron Man match, and John Cena got the better of that one. So when you look at the two, they were kind of like one and one apiece. And this feud is a TLC match, and I think this will be a match that they'll, one of their last matches they'll have in quite some time, uh, because we're guaranteed a winner. How believable that is! If I think if they need to prolong this match to Elimination Chamber, they will. But supposedly Brock Lesnar is a number one contender, so I think they're gonna whoever wins this match wins this match, and we'll be out of the t title picture for uh, quite some time, but probably at least towards the end of the year. But uh, as of right now, reading the stats, John Cena has won, I believe, 13 title matches when they've them two face, and Rand Duran has won four or something like that. That's what I read. When I'm thinking about it, it doesn't make sense. I know he won the run at WrestleMania. He won at SummerSlam 09. He won at Hell in a Cell. And he won at Night of Champions. Oh, I'm sorry, TLC. I don't know if that was one-on-one -on -one matches or single matches that I read, but John Cena has won more title matches than when them two have been in title match. But when you look at overall wins and losses, John Cena is more than Randy Orton, but they're not that far off for uh, wins and losses between each other. But you think WWE is in the creative room looking at stats of who won and who hasn't won and so forth, and like over the past 10 or sorry 12 years of them wrestling each other I don't think so it's just something I read online I thought I would bring that up but right now I think Randy Orton's gonna retain the title I think they haven't really done a good job on building the title match I think it's just been mediocre mediocre at best no one I don't think anyone's buying the pay-per-view to see this WWE Championship match not anyone that I know of everyone's buying the or watching the Rumble for the Royal Rumble match um, John Cena hasn't really, like, yeah, Orton beat up Cena's dad, but I think Cena's, Cena's somewhat revenge was him coming out, beating up Randy Orton, beating up, beating him up out of the arena and kicking Randy Orton, essentially out of the arena, and Randy Orton jumping in a random car and taking off. Um, I think, Ram the way to have this match is pretty much uh, Randy Orton being John Cena. I don't know how they're going to do it. Uh, is the authority going to get get involved? Quite possibly. Maybe to build up a WrestleMania match with John Cena versus the person in the authority. Maybe Kane. Maybe Triple H. Maybe Undertaker. The lights go out. Bam. See it cost Cena the title. There, There's your match right there. Cena, Undertaker, WrestleMania 30. Just a match. Ready to go. Just like that. And then they can have a rematch the next month. And then Undertaker comes out and then kills Cena. And they can do that. That's one way of booking the match and going on WrestleMania. Another way is Cena winning the title against Orton. Orton then feuding with a person in the authority like Triple H or someone. And then but Cena going be facing Brock Lesnar, beating Brock Lesnar for the second time, who knows? Brock Lesnar beating Cena. I don't know. One of the two could work either way. But then going on to WrestleMania and Cena 
facing Punk, Brian, Batista, any of those guys. There's so many scenarios for the WWE Championship match where whoever wins the Rumble or whoever wins the Championship match, you kind of kind of could see where it's going to go to WrestleMania. But honestly, you can flip a coin, pick the winner, and there you go. But as of right now, I think Randy Orton will win the title. And it will be thanks to the authority because last month they were doing the thing where, oh, we can't really trust Randy Orton, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, at the end, the authority somewhat helped Randy Orton to win the title. But not really because Randy Orton kind of won it on his own, clean, at TLC. But um, from what I've been hearing, they've been having great house show matches. They've been going 20, 25 minutes, but they've all been ending disqualification. And finally at the Royal Rumble, we'll see a winner. So I'm going to say Randy Orton to retain the title at the Royal Rumble.